What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeremiah Neal, and I'm the host of Electric Pop, a new interviewing series where we take a deep dive into various niche communities, and we chat it up with the experts within them. Now, speaking of the community, if y'all haven't heard about us yet, Pop Shop Live is a live streaming e-commerce platform where you can watch shows and you can shop from an array of eclectic and unique products live. So I'm gonna need y'all to go to the description box and click that download link today. Okay. <laughs> now I need to get into our very first interview. Daryl Chang, my homie, AKA Houseplant Journal, is like the king of kings when it comes to all things plants. Not only has he been in the industry for such a long time, and of course his Instagram is popping, he has his own book called The New Plant Parent. So it was only fitting that we got him to kick off this wonderful interviewing series. I had such a great time chatting it up with him. Make sure to let us know what you think about it in the comments. And without further ado, enjoy this interview, y'all. Hey. So what's going on, Daryl? How are you today, man? Hey, Jeremiah. Good to see you. How are you? I'm, I'm doing stellar. Thank you so much for asking. So for our viewers that are watching you for the first time, do you mind explaining uh, how you got your start in, in your love and passion for plants? Sure, sure. So several years ago, uh, my, my mom, when I was still living at home, she said, hey, help me decorate our house with some house plants, but you better figure out how to look after them. And so I was like, okay, and I just, you know, Googled it as most millennials would do. And I, I just found that, you know, the information was kind of sometimes very vague and sometimes it, it, it sounded very old fashioned, right? You know, hand wavy yeah. kind of advice. So for me as an engineer, I, I just like things to be a bit more precise i'm okay with being a bit more technical and so that's how i decided to just start houseplant journal which was literally just a journal for my houseplants just documenting you know how they're doing i love photography as well so you know being good on photography and on instagram is is a good combination so that's where you know people started uh, i guess noticing the account and one of them i guess was my literary agent like a person who looks for potential authors and she said you know i think you can write a really good book about how to take care of plants and so that was something that yeah, i was super excited to do and yeah it took about a year and a half and so we we put together the the book it's called the new plant parent and right yeah and so that's how houseplant journal flourished and began that's what's up so we, we we're taking it old school with literature but you're also merging um that with the new school, which is social media, and you're blowing up on Instagram. You get tons and tons of likes and views on your videos and stuff like that. Did you have author in your trajectory as a child or teenager? Did you think that this would be your big break, so to speak? Well, w when you said, did I have it in my trajectory from when I was young? Then definitely not, because in fact, I actually do not like writing naturally. I much prefer math and science. But then when it came time to, you know, having Instagram and Houseplant Journal, uh, I, I did have it in my mind that I would love to write a book about houseplant care because I, I feel like I can talk about it in a different way and hopefully in a way that encourages people to have a kind of longer term appreciation of plants, not so much about just here's a piece of decor and here's how you maintain it. Right. Like I much prefer, you know, having plants that you have long enough that you can tell a story about it. That's the kind of goal that I think um, can really help people to, to feel like there's a meaningful long-term relationship that they can have with plants. I love that. I think we need to work more on that, I guess, as a society. Everything has become so swift and quick. And I, I love the fact that you have to take your time with this particular niche category. It's not something that's just gonna happen overnight. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to maintain mm -hmm. the plant lifestyle and culture. So I love yeah. that you, you are bringing that, but you're also making it a lot more easy and accessible for beginners like myself. <laughs> Cause let me tell you, I've not had all my plants die. <laughs> like when the first three months I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> you know, when you first start off with plants, you're going to read a lot of advice and I think a lot of beginners think that plant care is about following strict rules in order to preserve perfection, right? And I'm going to tell you flat out, that's not how it works. I figured. Right? <laughs> you, like, you, you know, like you see this plant behind me, but you don't know how many leaves, like leaves have died and fallen off this plant. You don't know how many like times this, this brown part here, I mean, it used to be green and then it turns brown and then a new one grows on top and it turns brown. A new one grows, like it keeps going, right? So it's like when you see the long-term trajectory of plants, then you realize that 
what, what I've come to sort of coin this phrase is that, you know, an experienced plant owner is not the one who never loses any leaves. It's the one who knows how much leaf loss is acceptable and that the plant is still going, you know? That's really so it's important. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like try, try not to fall into this trap of thinking that proper care will ensure perfection forever because that's not the case. Instead, you should think of it as leaves, like individual leaves, have a limited lifespan. They, they will grow when they're new, they're fresh and perfect. Eventually, they'll get some brown tips. And then eventually, when it comes to their end of their life, they're going to turn yellow and fall off. And if, if you're able to know that that's okay, I mean, of course, given that you are caring for it, you know, as best you can, if you're, if you're able to say that's okay and, and, the, and you can still see the plant continue to grow, that is how you will kind of propel yourself into this kind of long-term enjoyment of plants. Like I can, I can tell you right now that I, I derive a lot of joy out of my plants, but not a single one of them is absolutely perfect. Perfect. That's what's up. Uh, for the oh, people you. that are watching right now, where can they find you? What are your upcoming projects that we could be on the lookout for? Yeah, I mean, my, my website is houseplantjournal.com. And there you'll find lots of different resources on just generally how to take care of plants. Uh, my, my book, which I have right beside me, is called The New Plant Parent. And yeah, it's um, it's just like a my version of how to take care of plants and, and be happy with them, right? And appreciating that, you know, nature's got to take its course, right? And like I've kind of in 2020 did a, I guess you could say a video course version of that. So that's called um, Essentials of Houseplant Enjoyment. And that's like an online course version of what's in the book but going a little farther, obviously. Got other projects that I uh, can't quite announce yet, but um, it's uh, in, in the works and yeah, it's an exciting time. Love it. We love that you stay booked and busy. So keep that up, keep that energy up this whole year. Dara, I appreciate you so much. Really do. <laughs> Thank you again. Everybody that's watching, make sure to go purchase this book. Go, we're gonna put all the links in the description box. So make sure to go and just engage and, and, and support most of all, um, because you are truly quite the expert in your field. <laughs> and we are very privileged to have, you know, you just shedding some light on some cool tips and tricks and all that jazz. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, thanks, you, man. I really appreciate it too. <laughs> yeah, and everybody that's watching, make sure y'all subscribe, share, comment, and let us know if you have any ideas for collaborations for Daryl, um, because if we make this happen, then we can let them know that Pop Shop Live were the ones to put this together. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> hey, well, until next time, I'll holla at y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey, 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 y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that interview with my homie, Daryl Chang. It was so much fun. And Daryl's personality is just off the heezy. Now listen, y'all, an extended version of this interview is gonna be available on all streaming services this weekend. So I'm gonna need y'all to check that out if you enjoyed our camaraderie together. And next week, I'm gonna be hanging out with Pop Shop Live seller, Aunt. Y'all know Aunt, she be designing jewelry for like Nicki Minaj, Paris Hilton, Mulatto. So it's going to be a vibe on the next episode of Electra Pop. Make sure to tune in next week.